Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog, your bookkeeping friends. In this video, I want to talk to you about unapplied cash payment income. So let me just take you to my profit and loss and I can show you what I mean. I'm going to go reports and I'm going to go to profit and loss and I'm going to pull up my profit and loss for January of 2023. When I run this report on a cash basis, so cash basis up here, you can see I have unapplied cash payment income. I'm going to run this report for February of 2023. So 02, 28, 23, run report. I have a negative 300 unapplied cash payment income. I'm going to change this to encompass both January and February. I have zero in unapplied cash payment income. Let me just click on the zero so that I can tell you what's happening here. I have an invoice that is dated for February. I have a payment dated for January. When I run the profit and loss for January, there's $300 of cash payment or check or whatever. There's $300 of money that has been received into QuickBooks that goes to an invoice, but QuickBooks doesn't know about the invoice yet because the date range selected for your profit and loss was only January. When I look at February, QuickBooks says, okay, previously in January, I called it unapplied cash payment income. I need to move it out of there, so therefore I shall subtract it. So when you add the two together, it turns into zero dollars. If it bothers you that it looks like this, you just need to make sure your invoice is dated for a date before your payment, right? My payment's in January, my invoice is in February. So let me go ahead and change my invoice and I will make it 131.23. Actually, let's make it 120.23. We'll do save and close. So nothing shows up here. Let me just take you back to the profit and loss. When I look at the profit and loss, unapplied cash payment income does not appear in my list. I'm just going to make this display by months. So I have my January column, I have my February column. At no point do I have unapplied cash payment income. I don't have it because I don't have any unapplied cash payments. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can do anything to help you, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks and have a great day.